So today we're launching in locally in Drogheda in County Louth. I'm standing as an MEP candidate for the Midlands North West constituency. I want to be Ireland's watchdog in Brussels, not EU lapdog for the European Commission. At the minute, we see a complete inversion where the European Commission dictate to Ireland what they must do and the government then dictate to us. We want something completely different. We want a constitutional republic where our human rights, our, our natural rights are respected and that Ireland is a sovereign, independent republic because we believe that the Irish people are good enough to make our own laws and decide our own destiny in this world. One of the big aspects we'll be talking about is the voting record of the MEPs. They all voted en masse in one block, the 13, sorry, the, the 13 MEPs that are there. They voted for the Nature Restoration Act to wet and uh, flood Irish farmland, a large section of Irish farmland and wetland. They also voted en masse for carbon tax. Carbon tax is an unjust, unnecessary tax which makes your milk more expensive, your meat more expensive. It makes it more expensive for young people to drive to work in their cars. And it makes it more expensive for old people to heat their homes. Also, they all voted en masse for the Energy Conservation and Buildings uh, Directive, which, which means that people in the coming years will have to pay to retrofit and insulate their homes, and it will be very expensive. So I want, in this campaign, to listen to the concerns of you out there in the constituency and represent you and Irish interests in Brussels, not the other way around. One big aspect I'll be bringing up, very different from the rest of them, is that at the minute Ireland, without our consent, is being colonised by a large group of uncontrolled number of unvetted males, which is very dangerous. It's also very expensive. Ireland, we will be put in pressure. We need to re stop EU open borders because it makes Ireland less safe, less secure, and also it, too many instances where instead of Irish people first in our own country, in this our homeland, which we love and to which we belong, there's been too many instances where it's paddy lass, and that's not good enough. And we will be running on a campaign where Irish people are put first. So I'd like to thank uh, the Irish Freedom Party members here in Louth for coming out to support us today. We're going to be going around the town. We're going to leaflet. We're going to talk to people. And we're going to give the reasons why Irish Freedom Party candidates are standing in the three constituencies. That's me, Herman Kelly, running in Midlands Northwest. There's Michael Leahy. Uh, who is running in Ireland South, and you have Dermot O'Connoran, who is running in Dublin. So please get out your checkbook, get out the credit card, support these candidates financially. Also, get off your sofa, stop watching the TV and football, come out and support us and canvas around the houses. We need to take our country back from globalist control. That's who has it at the minute. Brussels, it's run for the benefit of unelected bureaucrats in Brussels and globalist capitalism, uh, which comes America and stuff like that there. And we want to take it back so the final control of Ireland's destiny is decided by the Irish people alone and no one else. So come out and support us. I want to be an Irish watchdog, not an EU lapdog. So come and help me. We all know that Ireland is full and we've got to get control of our money, our laws and our borders. So come and support us. Irish Freedom Party for Europe. Slán is back. Góra And thank you to all the beautiful people here coming out. Actually, do you know what? When you think about big boats can be changed by small tugs as we see at sea. And we can see, like for example, the Bolshevik Revolution in uh, Russia was a small group of dedicated individuals who want to change the direction of their country can have great impact. And you know what? Sometimes the small boats have huge impact. So that's what we're hoping for in this election. Gorham Agatha. Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Do you know what? Maybe I'll ask a few people why, why they're members, why they're supporters. 
Yeah. I'm Eben McGee from Convoy, a joint Irish uh, freedom party, because I want to have a, I want to see my children have a future in Ireland. Um, our countries is overloaded. Our hospital beds. I'm hoping that I'm when I'm older that I'm able to get a hospital bed. I'm hoping for my children to be housed. I'm hoping for my children to be uh, having an opportunity of finding a job. Um, and I, I think that's only fair that Irish citizens uh, be treated equally as everyone else that's in our country. I'm, I'm, I'm not a racist or anything. Um, our great Europeans that did, did have come into our country got nothing for free. Uh, they worked hard for everything that they got, you know, and these other people coming in are getting completely free houses, free medical care, food, electricity. It's not fair in Irish citizens. Thank you. Shane Lynham, Irish Freedom Party candidate for County Westmead. The reason I joined the Irish Freedom Party was I believe in uh, sovereignty for the Irish nation and the Irish people. At the moment we're being dictated to by a foreign power. Um, men and women uh, died for this country's freedom and it's a shame to see it all been given away again so cheaply. So if you see us out there canvassing, come up and talk to us. Uh, we have some excellent candidates running our European elections. We have some great candidates running our local elections as well. So we really need your support. So come out. Register to vote, make sure you vote, and vote for the Irish Freedom Party. Thank you. My name is Patrice Johnson, and I'm the Drada Royal Candidate for Irish Freedom Party. The reason I joined Irish Freedom Party is for my children's future. I want children to have a safe future in this country. I want to put a stop to unvetted men constantly coming into the country, an end to the RSC programme being taught in schools. The country needs a change. We need no more of the uni parties. The country needs a nationalist government, and there's enough is enough. The government we have now is doing absolutely nothing for the Irish people, and Sinn Féin will do absolutely nothing either. Whatever the government is doing, they will do the exact same thing. They are supporting the whole lot, and Sinn Féin will allow your children to go for a sex change operation without telling you. Sinn Féin will continue this mass immigration too. The only ones that will put a stop to it is us. So join, donate, get involved with us at Irish Freedom Party. The country needs you to step up. I'm Cahal O'Murahu. I stood here in uh, Lowry in the last general election and uh, the reason I joined the IFP was because I feel that there's no control being put into the hands of the Irish people. We are a very welcoming, proud country, um, welcoming to all sorts of people. Uh, but in terms of refugees and immigration. We have taken in far more than we can afford at the minute. Uh, there is no consultation been given to the Irish people. We want local democracy given back to the people of Ireland. Since uh, the last election, we have taken in far more people than any other country per capita in terms of refugees. In Ukraine, we have opened our doors, but we have to have some sense of common sense. We just want sensible levels in terms of immigration to control crime. The media are not reporting on this. We feel that uh, our party will stand up for the interests of the Irish people and put the Irish people first in their own country because we're rapidly becoming a minority there and I think that has to be said. There is no opposition, there is no media. We will be that voice. Thank you.